Hey, what's going on, DJI Pilots? It's been a minute or two. Haven't done any videos for a while. Want to jump back into it and talk about disabling drone ID from your DJI aircraft. What is drone ID? Well, it's a way for your drone to phone home. Uh, law enforcement, other agencies can pick that up and they can find more information about you, your location, your drone's location, your mobile phone's location. They share a whole bunch of stuff about you that may or may not be appreciated. Pretty much all of the DJI aircraft out there are going to be transmitting drone ID. There's the list. This is uh, Aeroscope. DJI not only transmits drone ID, but they also sell the technology that detects it. So they're kind of in it on both ends. Okay, so why disable drone ID? One, privacy. Do we really want DJI to know where we are all the time? Uh, DJI doesn't have a process for people to be able to disable it in legit reasons, and local regulations may not mandate it. Uh, good disclaimer, just don't be an asshole when you fly. You should be good there. All right, first step, we're gonna download and install Python. The link's gonna be in comments. It's pretty easy. Download Python 3. Go to the first result here there's gonna be a download button. Hit download Python, and this should download the file pretty quick depending upon your internet connection. Once it's downloaded, go ahead and click the download file, and it's gonna open up the installation process. On this, check that box for add Python to path. That's important. Once you're done, go ahead and click install now, and it should install pretty quick. Go ahead and hit close. Now we're gonna download the DJI firmware tools. Again, the link's gonna be in the comments, but you can also Google for DJI firmware tools. You'll find a GitHub repo by the OGs. Go ahead and open this up, hit that green button there titled code, choose download zip. This will download a set of firmware tools that will help us talk to the drone. Once you've downloaded that file, open it in WinZip or WinRAR and extract that contents somewhere on your hard drive, I'm gonna go ahead and pick the C drive. Now we're gonna download the CIA Jeep Doors tool. This is the one that'll actually disable drone ID. Again, the link's gonna be in comments, but you can just Google CIA Jeep Doors GitHub. Go ahead and click that link. On this one, click that green button again for code, click download zip, and that's gonna download a small file. Once that file is downloaded, go ahead and get and open it up with WinZip. Open up the main folder, and we're gonna extract a couple files out of here to the same place you just put the firmware tools. Go to the other folder, grab these files. You only need the .py and the DLL file. Go ahead and choose replace if there's anything there. Now we're gonna open up Device Manager and find the COM port that your aircraft connects to. So open up Device Manager, expand the port section, then power on your aircraft and plug it into USB. You're gonna see a new COM port show up. Make note of this and or write it down. In my case, it's COM3. Now we're gonna to drop to a command line and run the tool. So go start run, type in CMD and hit enter, and you get to a command line. Navigate to the folder that you extracted for the firmware tools. All right, now we're gonna run the tool. Uh, the tool is called CI Jeep Doors. It's a, uh, a great file name. So we see that we can see that file in this folder. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is look at the options. We're gonna type out Python CIA Jeep Doors .py -h, and these are the help options. There's a lot in there. We're just gonna use the disable function though. So again, we're gonna type Python CIA Jeep Doors .py hyphen hyphen port com3 and that's going to check if drone ID is enabled and this one you can see drone ID is in fact enabled. What's up binary? Now we're going to run the command to disable drone ID. So from the same folder type in python cia jeepdoors.py hyphen hyphen port space the com hyphen hyphen disable. And this is going to send a command over to your aircraft and it's going to disable drone ID. Here's a screenshot of what it looks like. We can see that drone ID is in fact disabled. 
Kapow! We did it. Good job, you guys. A couple notes, some of the newer drones like the Mavic 3 won't work with the port option. You're gonna to need to replace it with bulk. And there's the example command line. Uh, iOS devices are gonna reset the drone ID setting. So you're gonna to need to use Android only. And some of the newer firmware may also reset it. So don't update your firmware unless you absolutely need to. All right, mad props to the OGs who are still balling, bringing mods to the community. Really appreciate y'all. And again, this mod should never be sold. Always freely available. Uh, no reason for it to be sold. Thanks for watching, folks. Ta-ta.